here we've got just a, a bit of a mashup of a few clips because um, we've, we've just brought the cows home for the winter um, so we thought we'd we'd put this together give you an idea of how we do it just walk them home rather than using the trailer it's a bit less of a stressful option for them um, they can walk home at their own pace nice and happy so let's take a look Hey, morning folks, so we are down here because we're uh, just a little driving. Um, we're going to take all the cows home, all these cows home, back to the winter grazing. Um, so we've got the tractor in the trailer because we've got one old cow, old pet Clara, um, and she's not really fit to, to walk the whole way. Um, so we're going to put her in the trailer give her a lift home. All the rest of them, uh, we'll walk them out to the top end of the field up there. Uh, and then there's a nice quiet lane that we walk them up uh, and then back down into our field. So we usually, we, well we need quite a few staff on, so we've got various friends and family all roped in um, just to cover off all the various exits and so on. Probably about 15 cows and calves here, something like that. Um, oh, there's Clara over there. So we'll go and get her loaded up and then we'll give you an idea of what we're doing. Clara's over here to the left. Um, and we'll get a bit of a video of them walking home. going in the trailer. <gasps> What's that? Breakfast. Come on. Come on. Go, go on, Clara. Go on. Come on, Claus. Come on, Come on, Claus. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Some of you might remember the video that we did a, about a month and a bit ago. Here's the stream that's still dry. Um, doesn't look like a stream, does it? So you can see even now, and getting towards the end of November, and it's still not very, not got lots of water around the place. So here we just open the gate, and the cows are up there somewhere. I can hit, you can possibly hear them all. So hopefully the crack team are moving, cow moving specialists to bring them down this channel uh, and then they'll come straight out this gateway. So the theory goes. Alright, so they're on the way. We've got that gap blocked by our specialist cow Labrador. No. Holly going through there to get in front of them up the lane. Rachel's down there on the lane somewhere. Now we've got to just hope that they can remember where the gate is. Alright, I'm going to stop the video because I might need to jump soon. Well, that's part one complete. We're out of the field and now we're off up the lane. So this is where the water is. It obviously disappears before it gets to us somewhere. It disappears where it crosses the path. Yeah. But where's it all going then? Well, a certain amount goes underground again, but I mean, normally it goes up above ground as well. Yeah, well, obviously, the water table's low, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, this is only a trip hole here. And of course, you had to fill up that big reservoir. Sort of yeah. There as well. Yeah. Cows are all having a drink anyway. Okay, so this is the last tricky bit really. Uh, we've got a couple of people in front now just to uh, cover off any alternative routes that they could take. 
uh, we want to go up to the right here uh, there's a track goes up and over the hill um, so Holly's going to go up there first to make sure we don't have any escapees uh, and then we'll just turn the cows in at the bottom here and they'll walk up nice and quietly uh, like I said earlier it's a nice stress free way to move them this uh, you don't have to split the cows and calves up in the, to get them in the trailer or anything like that um, and they can just walk up at their own pace This is us back at the field now. Uh, cows are just going to walk in here through the pen. Uh, got everyone standing watching. They've, they've done this a few times now, so they pretty much know the routine. Uh, and that's them back in the field for winter. And uh, off to go and get a bit of uh, bit of fresh grass. <laughs> 